Hey everyone, welcome back to day two. Getting a late start to the day, it's about 10.30, and we're gonna stop by Charlotte Cafe to grab a cup of coffee, hop on a ferry, and then head over to Dumbo. So I'm looking forward to today. This this is an Americano because right now we're on big Americano kicks. First sip of coffee to cure this hangover that I had. <laughs> I had two alcoholic drinks last night. You're a lightweight. I'm a lightweight. I woke up with a nasty headache. My man. Ooh, that's good. That's strong. It's mozzarella and prosciutto. What Christy and I are trying to do on this trip is not order for each of us <laughs> every time we get food. So we're just, what, what item do we want to try? We'll get that one item, we'll split it, and that way we can try more stuff. Does focus on getting us to the right place. This, this, is, how, this is how I follow Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> we finished up our coffee and Delicious breakfast. Delicious coffee and it breakfast. It was very good. Yeah. The, the cafe was really cute, very nice inside. Definitely a nice place to go do work, hang out, or just enjoy your breakfast. I yeah. would highly recommend it. It's a little bit away from all the tourist stuff, but yeah, Definitely really great. Yeah. And now we're walking towards where we're going to catch a ferry to head to Brooklyn. Yeah, we're going to East 34th Street. We got here, kiosk was super easy to use, took like two seconds, we got our tickets. The lines are very clearly marked, so you know which route you're taking. We're in the East River route, this will take us to Dumbo. I highly recommend the ferry. You get great views of the city skyline, great views of the bridges, and each ticket was only $2.75. It's a fun ride. Now we're here in Dumbo, so we're gonna go explore, probably find some more food, so let's go. We finally made it. Ever since I saw this place on YouTube, I was like, I wanna go to Time Out Market. The food inside looks really good, and it looks really cool on the outside. There's supposed to be a patio with a great view. I've been super pumped about this since yesterday. Let's go in and get some food. <laughs> oh my God. I've been waiting for that. I've been waiting. <laughs> Banana walnut pancakes. Oh my god. Oh, slow it down. Oh, yeah. The banana and walnut together, always a winner. The pancake itself is fluffy and buttery, but not overly sweet. So they didn't just pack a bunch of sugar and stuff into the batter. It's really good. You gotta see that inside there. Look at that. They're so soft, like, but not in a bad way, we're smushy. They're just really fluffy, they melt in your mouth, the taste is perfect. What's nice about Tama Market is you get all these amazing food restaurants all in one place. And you can stuff yourself if you want. Voila. <laughs> Juliana's is on our list, but we might not be able to get it today because look at that line. I'm sure it's worth it though. So we're walking over to the Brooklyn Bridge. Fortunate thing is there's signs that show you how to get, you know, when you're in time 
what is it, Timeout Market? Yes. <laughs> yeah, from Timeout Market, you can see signs that point in the right direction. But the cool thing is, is it's been a while since Christine and I have had the opportunity to go travel or do anything. And yeah. just <laughs> these little moments where like, you're just walking. You're just walking, trying to figure out where you're going and stuff. Ah, oh, man, I miss it. And just giving it a shout out. It's like one of my favorite aspects of traveling. You're just walking around and trying to figure out where you're at. So just embrace it. Have fun with it. <laughs> this camera is heavy. Hey, here's a trivia question. What was the route number in Pokemon Red and Blue where you had to ride your bike and you couldn't get off the bike? So you had, you, the route would take you downhill, you couldn't stop, and you couldn't get off the bike. So if you know the name of that route, go ahead and comment below. Uh, and the winner will get a gold star. Wow, there's, that's nuts. Look, there was an entrance that we missed from below. Oh, something's been spinning. Oh, yeah, see, we went the long way. We, we must have gone the long way. Show this people up there. We definitely went the long way. No, 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 we're not getting any closer oh, to it. My what? God. No. Put them on, you guys. <laughs> that if you look real close there she is that's the Empire State Building oh, it's the one with the little bridges <laughs> right now she knows all right so we crossed the Brooklyn Bridge that was a lot of fun and we actually crossed it kind of in the opposite direction that most people usually do. We went from Brooklyn to Manhattan instead of the other way around. Yeah, and at the entrance of the Brooklyn Bridge, whether you're starting here or ending here, there's like a bunch of like uh, vendors and little food carts and drink carts uh, just to either get souvenirs or get snacks. Christy had the idea to take the subway. Yeah, we haven't tried the subway yet or we haven't been on the subway and that's a New York thing to do, isn't it? I guess, or at least it's a tourist <laughs> thing to do to go down into the subway and get in everybody's way as you try to figure it out. <laughs> so instead of a 22 minute walk down to the Statue of Liberty viewpoint, we're gonna see if we can get the five train or the four train and see what happens. Oh, that worked, cool. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. So now we gotta figure out if we need to take uptown and the Bronx or downtown in Brooklyn. I think we need to go downtown though because we need to go south. Follow signs for downtown and Brooklyn Express. So we're going to go down this way. And get on this train. Now we're waiting for the, either the four or five train. Oh, up here. <laughs> that was easy. Now we're just going to the exit that says Battery Park State. Right off the subway, you end up at Battery Park. And then if you keep walking down towards the water, that's the viewpoint for the Statue of Liberty. It's also where you can pick up cruises if you want. I think maybe also the free ferry to Staten Island might be this way, I'm not sure. What are we doing? A lot more people than I was expecting. <laughs> if you're trying to find the ferry terminal on Google, you want to search for White Wall South Ferry. And it's about a four minute walk from Battery Park right through the park. And there's also a big sign that says ferry, so you can't miss it. <laughs> they just open the doors and you <laughs> rush them. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but even the paid one, even the paid one has a huge long line. All right, here we go. There's plenty of room. Again. On a very. <laughs> On again. But you don't have to pay for this one, and it's huge. But I think the Central Liberty is on the other side, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to turn. Oh, well. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Like yeah. about to 
Island. That was fun. Yeah, that was. We got a good view of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Got to uh, get on with the masses. <laughs> yeah. So I say it's worth it. You want to? Especially because it's free. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you want to be on the west side of oh, yeah. the of the ferry. So when you get on, orient yeah. yourself, find north, south, east, and get on the west side. Staten Island is very residential, mm. so it's hard to get around unless you have a car. So you can't just walk around Staten Island. But luckily, this pizza place is only a 10 minute walk. So instead of getting off and right back on the ferry, we're gonna just eat, take a break, <laughs> eat more pizza, eat more food, and then we'll get back on. All right, let's go. Ooh. We're still at 76 Pier but we decided to sit outside because there's a lot of music inside. Anyway, we sat down and Christy had the idea to do a pizza challenge. So she ordered a 16 inch Sicilian pizza well, topped with meat. That wasn't the original plan. Sal had been talking about wanting to try a Sicilian pizza, but they only come in one size. And the guy says it's pretty big slices. He thinks that we could only eat like one each. <laughs> so now this has become a food challenge. Only, only because he said we couldn't eat more than one. And, yeah. well, what are we going to do with the rest of the pizza? we got to eat it. He said we could take it home, but it's like, well... We live in Texas. Um, <laughs> we got to get back on the ferry. we got more stuff to see. I mean, we could walk around with leftover pizza, I guess. No. We're going to eat it all. Here it is. <laughs> I think I can do this. I can definitely eat more than one slice. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, I think two. I think... I can, can you eat three? I think I can do six. Are you ready for this? Because okay, I go. am ready. All right, let's go. It's meaty and it's cheesy. And the it's crust, thick. <laughs> the, it's thick. The crust is like got a good crunch on the bottom. This is a solid pie. Like this is a good pizza. That's like a little cup it. of grease <laughs> right in there. And this one too. See the grease, it pulls in the bottom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like little pools of flavor right there. Mm. <laughs> we uh, got our work cut out for us. How many slices did you eat? Almost three. No, man, come on. You're letting you're letting the people down. Look, look how much pizza we still have left. Walking, getting some air, letting the food move. You really feel that sick? I feel like I ran a mile. <laughs> All you did was eat pizza. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel terrible when I sleep. I'm gonna have bad dreams. <laughs> I gotta trip about pizza. I'm gonna have bad dreams. I ate so much, I'm gonna have bad dreams. Two more slices, so we're gonna have to take them in this box. But we're calling it quits, we can't, we can't eat anymore. But I'm gonna see if I can eat this at least. We gotta get on a ferry after this, by the way. See how that feels. The boat's gonna sink because it's so heavy now. <laughs> We managed to waddle our way back to the Staten Island Ferry. The sun's going down. Yeah. Wishing you were here. <laughs> Hopped off the ferry and decided to take the R train, which was again super easy. Yeah. A few stops later, and we were at World Trade Center. It looks so cool behind us. I think that's called the Oculus. The Oculus, and I didn't know it was like a shopping center. Yeah, so that lower level below is tons of shop. The architecture of the building is really cool. The, the lights, the aesthetic, it, it's all really cool. Yeah. We just exited the Oculus, so now right behind us is the 9-11 Memorial, where they have the pools um, where the Twin Towers used to stand. The 9-11 Museum was closed, but we still got to see the 9-11 Memorial Pools. And it's crazy how big they are. Yeah, they're really big. Um, you know, all the names of the people who passed are on the edges. And it's just nice to be here and, you know, just pay our respects to everybody. From here, we're going to jump back on the subway, head uptown, uh, probably stop by our hotel just to charge some batteries and stuff like that, freshen up and then maybe make our way to Times Square and finish off the night there. Yep, So like <laughs> let's get on that subway. <laughs> the 
getting, getting those pics, huh? It's like sensory overload with all the screen stuff, <laughs> but it looks cool. Yeah. A Saturday night. Like, it's <laughs> wild. Like, it's crazy. But I think we've had our fill for the day. Yeah. Ending sure. at Times Square was cool. Yeah. Um, because it's at night. It's super crazy. Everything lit up. Yeah. But we're ready to call it a night. Yeah. We're going to go home, get some sleep, and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be hungry tomorrow at some point in the day. Oh, yeah. We will. I don't know. We're gonna eat no matter what. Yeah, it's true. We'll make it happen. <laughs> All right, see ya. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, do the things. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye.